ARI Chennai I take this immense pleasure of welcoming you all to this bio webinar session 2 Today we we have our special guest uh, Dr A Stephen assistant professor department of botany at St Joseph's uh, College Bangalore Sir has done his undergraduate and postgraduate from Madras Christian College Chennai and his PhD from University of Madras He also successfully completed several international certificate courses Academically he got trained in various renowned institutes like MS Swaminathan Research Foundation Chennai Central Institute of Medical and Aromatic Plants Bangalore French Institute of Pondicherry Prior moving to St Joseph he worked as assistant professor in Madras Christian College RKM Vivekananda College Chennai and transdisciplinary university in Bangalore He had nearly a decade of experience in teaching undergraduate and postgraduate students and also guiding several research projects fellows Sir has proven expertise in plant taxonomy ethnobotany ecology plant physiology anatomy embryology and even uh, paleobotany and several other areas in plant sciences Sir have a uh, publication in several international and national peer reviewed journals and book chapters of more, for more than 79 and have attended more than 24 science international science conferences also he is a sitting member of several prestigious national and international plant science physiology. organization also he is uh, acting an uh, uh, acting member of uh, uh, several uh, peer reviewed cited journals as a reviewer and uh, advisor he is a he is a person who received notable awards for his academic excellence from his college days The achievements of him are numerous uh, to enumerate. In this short time, we are we are we are honored we are honored today to uh, hear you, sir. I once again welcome you uh, with all the excitation on behalf of AARI. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's my pleasure to be here in um, uh, in this webinar. uh so many people are joining um shall we wait one more minute because now now only i'm seeing so many others are joining yes sir perma yes sir we shall already start 64 people have oh, joined we other than joining youtube also so they will be joining side by side you can start sir no problem it's almost we, otherwise we can wait for more 2 minutes at 235 we can start So we can wait for uh, one or two minutes. Yeah, one or two minutes. Yeah, because uh, many people session. are uh, no joining and uh, having some difficulties in their network and other things. Yes, sir. So usually, um, uh, we talk um, in yeah. front of uh, audience. Now, virtually, we are talking with the people. from various walks of life i've seen i've uh, interacted Hello? with uh, perumal yeah yeah yes is that hello yeah we request all the participants to keep their uh, mics at mute uh, we we may have the discussion session on the last of the uh, webinar so i kindly request you all, all the participants to keep their mic at mute Yes, sir. Uh, sir, you please yeah. carry on. Yeah. You are you are sharing your experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I, Permal was uh, drilling me uh, like anything. Um, yes. Yesterday, he showed the um, participants list. Uh, yeah. It is a multidisciplinary, transdisciplinary uh, audience. So my yeah. um, um, uh, presentation, whole presentation, it will not be a uh, uh, focused with one particular area or one particular science or one particular branch of science. so i said i will keep in mind with all the audience what are all the various things we can do with the medicinal plants so that is the uh, basic uh, uh, prior input input i want to give about the medicinal plants so i'll uh, start with the presentation now i'll move on to the sharing okay sir
Yeah. Can you see the slide? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. It's visible. You can start. Yes. Yes. Um, first of all, good afternoon to one and all. Um, so for, uh, before starting the presentation, I would like to thank the Anakiliyamma Research Institute, the uh, in charge of all the people who are uh, 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 behind this uh, scene, worked very hard to bring all these people into the platform. Especially, I must thank the Permal for this uh, wonderful uh, platform, uh, bringing all the people from various places. Hello. Yeah, from the various places, it's uh, um, Permal drilled to me like anything, and he showed a keen interest, and he wants to uh, put everything, sir. Uh, he was asking for a presentation for a very long time, uh, more than 15 days back, he was approached me, sir, you give some talk to rekindle the uh, research aspects of the medicinal plants. So I just accepted this. I must thank uh, Perumal for this particular uh, endeavor. Um, usually we uh, walk and talk. That is the uh, any seminar. We usually walk and talk. But the, because of this pandemic, uh, the corona and other things, we just sit and talk. Okay. So it is fantastic. Uh, it's a friendly meeting. If you have any doubts or any clarification, any anything to be asked, you can put it in the chat box. You can um, lay, uh, we'll, uh, we'll try to uh, answer all the questions at the last uh, thing. Okay, is it okay? Okay. And uh, one more thing is, uh, I just wanted to start with this uh, this presentation here by the famous quote by Galileo: "You cannot teach anybody." or anything you can only help them to find it within themselves so that is my uh, idea so i just wanted to tell uh, whatever things already you know yourself i'm just going to rekindle the things and whatever i'm showing about the medicinal plants it's a, just a tip of the iceberg uh, not even the tip of the iceberg it is a um, um, fraction of the uh, fraction drop of the ocean so that is what i wanted to tell in this particular thing so as you all are aware of the plants plants provide all the things whatever we need the human beings it it could be uh, categorized into comfort zone or it could be categorized into fun zone or it could be uh, necessity things especially if you check um, uh, necessity things it is very important the medicine medicinal plants are very important resources what we are getting from the plants so once we say medicine we need to know what is uh, what is for this particular medicine is given usually the medicine is given for any diseases which affects the human beings especially uh, from the pathogen point of view, when the pathogen enters into the body so the uh, uh, the term disease itself is giving um, it is a disorder of a structure or a function. In a literal sense, in a normal way, whatever you are doing, you cannot do when a pathogen enters. Usually when we have a pathogen entry, we will have a symptoms. It could be a physiological symptom or it could be a physical symptom or it could be anything. So, or the both the things. So physiological symptoms, usually the fever and other pains and other things are physiological symptoms which shows that there is an entry of pathogen. So that entry of pathogen will not allow you to do any of the work uh, which are which you are normally you are doing. So that is yes. Uh, there is a one statistics: uh, six million people per year die of a particular disease. That disease, so I'll talk in little later about what is that disease and other things. Usually a disease should be cured by a successful drug. So this drug should kill the uh, anti uh, the um, uh, pathogen, not the normal cells. That is very, very important. That is where we are trying to get the medicines or the any uh, drugs from the plants. Plants usually the most of the plants we eat or we, it is not harmful. But even if it is harmful, we try to 
uh, extract the ingredients and <laughs> give to give to the uh, patients to cure or kill the particular pathogen that is very important about the um, drugs we are getting from the plants so plants are the nature's pharmacy where um, we will get lot of secondary metabolites those secondary metabolites can be utilized to cure most of this uh, uh, these diseases especially when you talk about the plants because many of you are coming from zoology background microbiology yeah, all these the uh, different Permal, uh, there is uh, some uh, interference. Yeah, I will take it. Yeah. So usually the plants, uh, if you take a Linnaeus classification, anything which is not moving, which is not having any um, mortality, they are called as uh, plants. So. He is having only two types of kingdoms. Only one is plantae, the other one is um, uh, animalia. But later, when it comes to R. H. Whitaker, he classified all the organisms into five different kingdoms: Protista, Protoxys, Monera, then um, your plantae, fungi, and animalia. So when you consider uh, plants, there are four different groups, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperm, and angiosperms are considered as a embryophytes or true plants because they produce embryo or they are coming from embryo. That is very, very important. Uh, uh, in a general way, we consider all the things are uh, plants especially algae, even the cyanobacteria, we are all they are all considered as a plants in earlier days. But now, after 1969, R.H. Vitaka's classification, only the four groups are considered into true plants. So that is very, very important. So as you see, the this particular slide, the plant is called as Gloriosa superba. The name is not that much important the very important is the uh, the curative property of this particular plant this particular plant is very very um, poisonous plant even because the alkaloids which is present in the um, roots it is very very um, harmful to the human beings even if it is um, given to uh, some people, it will definitely affect their, it, their fatality is very, very high. But we can isolate the ingredients from this uh, roots, especially the um, colchicine and chloriocin. These chemicals are uh, highly used as a drugs, especially um, uh, the reduce the labor pain and other things. And one more important thing about this particular plant is the name itself suggests the glorious and superb when they wanted to discover when they wanted to describe this particular plant the flower is very very glorious flower so it's they called it as a gloriosa superba that is the etymology of this particular plant and this particular plant is curing goat g o u t uh, this particular disease wherein the uric acid crystals will be accumulated in the joints of the uh, uh, body. So people over a period of time they cannot move, they cannot walk, they cannot do anything about uh, with when they are affected by this particular disease. So this particular disease is cured or can be cured by Gloriosa Superba. And it is a state flower of Tamil Nadu because being uh, Ari is located in Tamil Nadu so I just wanted to start with this particular thing. And this particular thing is a variation because taxonomically people are saying this is a variation or it is a new uh, separate variety. This was recorded in um, uh, Indian Botanical Garden in uh, uh, Calcutta. This is uh, another uh, thing. The next one is uh, Caparis xylanica. This particular uh, plant is a very important plant before getting into this plant, the Indian region, if you take Indian region, the South India, if you take, 
it is divided into several kingdoms several people ruled in this particular area so we usually call it chera sola and pandya and chera is usually the malabar and other places chola is in the tanjavur and other uh, districts whereas the pandya is the uh, madurai and other districts whereas this particular uh, caparis xylanica is distributed in south india as well as in the sri lankan region and in this this particular plant is in tamil it is called as adondai ada flower adondai means it's it's a plant which is present in the tondai mandalam so the northern districts of tamil nadu which is called as uh, tondai mandalam where you will find this particular plant and this particular plant is very important plant with, uh, where it is it can be used as a laxative and leaves are used as a counter irritant and as a catabalsam of in boils and swellings even in the piles and rheumatism it can be used so this both these plants caparis xylanica as well as gloriosa superba they are climbers or climbing shrubs whereas our um, indian uh, uh, medicinal tree uh, flora if you just take there are umpty number of tree species we have in our uh, flora there are about uh, 490 arborescent taxa and of which more than 60% are endemic the endemic means they are present only in a particular area if that is removed in that particular from area eradicated from that particular area it will not be present in that particular area so that is uh, very important about the tree diversity medicinal tree flora uh, of india and usually the medicinal tree flora is less bothered because the ethnopharmacological studies are not well uh done in with with respect to the medicinal tree flora so people can take um empty number of plants and they can isolate various chemicals present in the uh, medicinal tree flora a uh, one such um let me take into the next slide the plant is called as um tyrocarpus santolinus uh which is present only in the deciduous forest or the uh, semi evergreen forest of um, eastern ghats especially in the kadapa and other uh, andhra pradesh regions where the tyrocarpus santolinus is highly present and when you take about this particular plant there are three important uh, uses we can see in this particular tree one is timber timber is highly valued the other one is medicinal importance this uh, uh, particular tree is used in the traditional medicine as an antipyretic it will reduce the fever and it is uh, used as an anti inflammatory and a diaphoretic hyperglycemic gly all these things can be controlled by this particular plant and this particular plant is ex extensively used in um, chinese and uh, other traditional medicine that's why people are ex exporting illegally exporting this particular plant and moreover there is another important thing is there is an instrument the japanese musical instrument called samisen is produced from this particular tree especially the neck of the uh, is instrument musical instrument if you just see the musical instrument it will be uh, great so this slide shows the musical instrument which is extensively used in uh, japan japan where japanese region is not supporting tyrocarpus santolinus but it is exported illegally because it is a scheduled um, tree it is exported to the uh, chinese and um, uh, japanese region and where they are extracting oil and other things and they are uh, using for this kind of uh, musical instrument that is why it is illegally uh cut and uh, exported the next one is most of you have seen the heartwood of this particular plant but this is the flower of a uh, uh, plant this is called as santalum album so santalum album is a very important uh, the santalum oil is very important it's widely used in folk medicine it is widely used as a uh, um, uh, uh, various preparations especially the um, uh, 
the antioxidant potential of alpha santalol there is a chemical called as alpha santalol and their um, anti hyperglycemic activity is very very is uh, proven but we have plenty of santalum album in our uh, forest area but now it is highly reduced it is highly reduced in because of various reasons because the farmers who where uh, it is naturally growing has to go to the forest department and in, uh, they have to inform the forest department they have a particular say, sapling and they have to protect that particular sapling till the maturity after the maturity the, they have to approach the forest department for the cut and selling of this particular plant so that is why it is very very um, uh, the farmers are not happy with this particular uh, plant so immediately when it is growing automatically in the uh, forest it will be plucked out so if you go to the chitteri and other uh, areas in eastern ghats you will find plenty of sandalwood trees once but now it is all gone and if you just take about the karnataka because it is a state uh, tree plant of uh, tree of uh, karnataka where they are importing the last year data says 100 tons of sandalwood tree sandalwood tree from australia but australia is now exporting but australian plants whether it is eucalyptus or acacia we are imported from uh, um, those region and it is suppressing our native flora so we have to consider all these things when it comes to the medicinal tree flora the general weakness even uh, you don't have any disease but you have a general weakness general uh, dizziness or something you can have uh, a drop of um, sandalwood oil and mixed with the hot water or uh, milk and you can drink it so that will enhance your uh, general healthness uh, of your body so that is very very important about this particular plant the next comes to another important plant that is called as tamarindus indiga so the name suggests indiga that means it belongs to indian region but it is not it is not our indian plant it is early introduction introduced to plants which is uh, originated in tropical african forest wherein the native people never used the fruits for as a as a condiments so that is very important about this tamarindus indigus and this tamarindus indigus if you just take the tamarindus indigus throughout the southeast asia the fruit of the tamarindus used to apply as a poultice to foreheads to uh, of fever uh, fever uh, sufferers so that is uh, very important about this particular plant and the fruit exhibits laxative effects and in a uh, uh high quantities because of the high quantities of malic acid and tartaric acid and usually it relieves the constipation and it is extensively documented throughout the world and if you just take this particular plant it reduces all these things fine but it is not a native plant and before this introduction of this particular plant what all the other plants we have used for our condiment purposes or our uh, cuisine especially the garcinia gummicata garcinia indica garcinia xanthosymus and garcinia morella all these plants we have been using as a uh, condiment in our uh, uh, food and it is highly used and very less activities very very less uh, scientific studies have been done in this particular plants so we can take several of these plants and we can study what is the pharmaceutical ingredients or pharmacological studies we can perform in this particular thing so in this aspect we have to combine many of the branches we should work with the taxonomy with the um, phytochemist with the uh, zoologist with the biotechnologists how to improve or how to achieve the best out of the things out of the medicinal plants and let me take into a particular disease uh, worldwide now uh, the corona is uh, uh, suppressing everybody's activity but before that there is a one particular disease which uh, takes 
the lives of everybody on the earth is called as cancer this cancer every year 6 million people die that's what i've mentioned in the disease slide every year there are about 6 million people died about, uh, because of the cancers and especially when you take about the indian population there are 10 percent of indians to develop cancer so this is a who uh, world health organization's uh, uh, data of last year and every year it is increasing many fold and whenever Hello. when you take the anything the uh, sauce whether it is a tomato sauce or the chili sauce there are a lot of things added as a preservatives and if you closely observe they will just put contains permitted class 2 or class 3 preservatives and if you just take acetic acid acetylated dystarch adipate xanthan gum sodium benzoate all these things are some of the class 2 preservatives and if you just take all these preservatives there is no proper evidences whether it is uh, giving a um, cancer or any other diseases because there is no a prolonged study there is no five years six years 15 years of intake of all these things what will happen to this uh, human body so it is very very uh, difficult to ascertain whether it is whether it is uh, really causing any disease or uh, we have to uh, uh, wait for certain things when you come to the medicinal flora so anti-cancer drugs the first drug developed in 1981, photophyllum plant, it is the chemical is called as photophyllum toxin. And there are umpteen number of plants from our own region, whether it is a Western Ghats or our Himalayan region, there are plenty of plants which are taking, uh, which are considered as anti-cancer drugs. And when you consider the uh, anti-tumor or uh, anti-cancer tree species, Nothopoidetes, Mesuva, Aphanomyxis, Semicarpus, Butea monosperma, Imnotichian, all these things, all these plants have certain anti-tumor activity. So that is the need to be explored uh, more. If you just take photophyllotoxin, there are two uh, chemicals, edopside and tineopside and they're uh, isolated from photophyllum pelchatum and photophyllum mod and they cure cancer lymphomas and leukemias and uh, uh, pediatric cancer neuroblasma and other things when you consider uh, another important thing is um, uh, catharanthus roseus there are two chemicals vincristin and vinoplastin which is concentrated in the root region and it cures uh, uh, childhood uh, leukemia as well as the Atkins disease. This Catharanthus roseus is not our own plant. It is coming from the Madagascar region. And if you take the quantity of uh, Wincristine Wincristin, it is 0.001% only in the root region. And now the recent study says it is not uh, belongs to uh, Madagascar region. It is belongs to the West Indies region. If you Google it, West Indies and the Madagascar, there are uh, more than 5,000 kilometers up, uh, away from this particular region. So there is a great questionability of origin of this particular plant. When you consider the Catharanthus roseus, we have uh, Catharanthus pusillus, another indigenous Indian species which is widely uh, present in the Indian and Sri Lankan region. If you just take this Catharanthus pusillus, there is a, only one study is taken uh, so far in this particular thing. Uh, they have identified the antibacterial prospect of uh, Catharanthus pusillus uh, and they have published in 2013. There is no such studies whether it is easily curing uh, cancer or any other disease. So no studies have, uh, have been taken place in this particular plant. So people can take some of these uh, plants and they can work some of these ideas and other things to explore. When you take 
the paclitaxel another cancer curing uh, chemical which is originally obtained from taxus brevifolia which is found in the native to pacific northwest of north america but we have our own taxus species taxus bacchata himalayan hue where the paclitaxel is obtained which is much much higher quantity that is very very important which cures uh, breast cancer ovarian cancer and lung cancers another important chemical is campotisin uh, originally isolated from campotica acuminata there are two chemical irinodecan and topodecan they cure colorectal cancer and ovarian and small cell lung cancer but if you just take a campotica acuminata uh, our own indian plants when you go to the western ghats nothopodiatis nimayana nothopodiatis fidata all these things as well as the miculia dendeta they have campotisin uh, in their uh, active principle but the quantity is very very high in these plants whereas in campotisin only uh, 0.001% whereas in um, nothopodiatis nimayana and miculia dendeta the quantity is much much higher than the original plant so we are so blessed with all these plants another important uh, plant is tinospora cardifolia where you will find pamatin tenocoridisin yangambai all these things are highly useful chemicals against cancer and other uh, ailments this tinospora cardifolia is extensively used in the siddha medicines but still lot more to be explored in this particular plant people can ex- can explore many things in this particular thing another important medicinal plant is andrographis paniculata and uh, last time when people are affected by dengue fever this was cured by andrographis paniculata it is called as name of the ground and this whole plant can treat fever snake bite and it can purify uh, breast milk and it can stop the internal hemorrhage and vomiting all those things can be uh, performed by can be gets from the andrographis paniculata the next one is crocus sativa it is a very costliest uh, spice on the earth which is extensively grown in himachal region which is curing human lung cancer pancreatic cancer skin carcinoma and other things so all these things are very very important <laughs> sir hello yeah. the yeah yeah if yes. if this meeting disconnected in one minute kindly rejoin with the same username and password please yeah okay, okay. sure yes, sure sir. continue sure sure yeah. the next one is uh, gingerbread officinal there are um uh, several compounds isolated extensively studied is gingerol gingerone and paradol they are all curing cancer they are cancer preventive active they shows cancer preventive activity and another important thing is uh, when you take spices the curcumin obtained from curcuma langa is a very important um uh antioxidant and anti inflammatory property have in this particular plant the rhizome is uh, natural resource of curcumin so you, it is a most powerful chemo preventive and anti cancer agent when you talk about this curcuma langa we should always think about the documentation especially in us patent office uh, this particular plant is
Halo. Halo sir, have you joined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait for two, one minute, sir. Kindly wait for one minute. Yes, let, let others join. Yes, yes. Let them, most let them join. Them, let them join. Them no joining. problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Yes, sir. You can start now. I think most of them yeah. have joined. Yes. Others will join me. Anyway. Yeah. Permal, shall I start? Yes, sir. Yeah. The next important uh, disease is uh, diabetes. And our plants, especially gymnema, neem, aloe, aloe vera, stevia, dinospora, fenugreek, turmeric, all these things can cure anti-diabetic um, problem. So they are having anti-diabetic activity. <laughs> Permal, Permal, can you mute everyone? Yes, sir. I am do doing that. Kindly, all participants, please mute your uh, mic. Shall I continue? Yes, sir. Yeah. The very important plant is Cycigium cumini. This is a um, very important plant. The seeds are very sweet, astringent, and usually it in the traditional medicine it is given for the diabetes but uh, in a allopathic medicine in a scientific validation it is not proving uh, enough uh, to cure the diabetes that is very very important so in traditional medicine siddha medicine it is given the cycigium cumini is given for uh, diabetes but it is not giving the same results in the allopathic medicine that is very very important and we should consider why it is not giving. So we should uh, combine with a Siddha practitioner what, how they are preparing or how they are giving these seeds as a uh, medicine for the diabetes. That is very, very important. So transdisciplinary studies, very, very important in a, uh, a modern era we have, where we need to prove that plants are very, very important plants are curing but when they are isolating certain chemicals or certain things it is not proving the same way so we have to combine many things and we have to prove that it is working the another important plant is tridax precumens it is not our plant but still it is a wound healing property is very very important whenever we play in the grounds and other places where if accidentally we wounded Immediately, we just uh, pull this uh, particular herb and we just uh, crush the leaves and put it on the wounds and it is acting as anticoagulant. And we, we have to isolate the compounds and we have to find out which compound is uh, giving that particular anticoagulant. That is very, very important. And again, this Senna later it is originally from uh, tropical American plant and why I am including because if you take the flora of India there are about 
empty number of plants more than 10 or uh, 20000 plants we have in, in indian region and among this 20000 plants roughly 40% of the plants are not our plants or not uh, indian origin they are coming from other places and especially this senna aleta is leaves used to cure ringworms herbs skin diseases syphilis and other diseases and the next important plant is the melia asadirach or uh, it is called as malai vembu and especially when you talk about the modern lifestyle everybody is uh, running for their uh, uh, things now the corona is um, uh, making us to sit and think why we have to run why we have to do all these things and especially the females they develop one important disease in their lifestyle because of their lifestyle one that one is pcod polycystic ovarian uh, syndrome this pcod is cured in the traditional medicine using this particular plant melia asadirac but again that is very very important the uh, application of this particular plant through the traditional medicine because in traditional medicine the way in which they are giving that is very very important because uh, if you are taking raw it is very very difficult because it is a highly toxic uh, chem, uh, plant melia asadira it will it can kill the person so we have to take we have to give we have to extract the extract and mix it with the warm milk and we have to take it and we have we should take very little quantity of this particular melia asadira there are a couple of studies which are going in ibms tharamani campus in university of madras where in the department of genetics some people are working on this particular melia asadira on the uh, pcod problems and usually it induces uterus relaxation so that is another important thing about this melia asadira when you talk about these plants uh, the another important plant is alstoria scholaris which is uh, extensively present in the malabar coastal regions wherein it is called as yakshi um, this particular plant is a very good laxative the uh, the bark and the bark extract is used as a laxative and the milky juice has been applied to treat ulcers and especially the decoction of the leaves were used to, to treat the very very disease so that is very important and uh, some of the properties anti cancer and anti asthmatic property of this particular plant is very very uh, promising so we need to develop certain drugs out of this particular plant and the next one is abacilla indicum till date even in allopathic medicine the only curative thing for the piles is from this particular plant and this particular plant is not only uh, uh, curing the piles it is a aphrodisiac plant what is meant by aphrodisiac it increases the desire towards the opposite sex that is very very important in ancient days the people who are engaged with with the marriage and other things they started to give uh, before uh, the marriage six months before this marriage of uh, people they usually give this particular plants every day uh, in a uh, in a in a mixed with the honey and other things so and this enhances a safe and quick pregnancy that is why in the ancient um, the last decades and couple of decades ago people usually they uh, their pregnancy rate is very high because of all these traditional things now we lost all those traditional things and because of this we are going uh, behind the gynecologist all these problems so that is very very important about this particular plant the next one is uh, crotalaria verugosa this plant is a very good blood purifier and also this flowers produce camphorol another important thing and it um, the roots are used to treat against fever and stomach pains and especially when you talk about this plant 
many plants are used in the traditional medicines but as a biotechnologist as a you know, phytochemist we have to extract we have to some of the ingredients we have to extract and we have to prove this particular ingredient is useful for the particular disease that is where the scientific validation is very very important many of for many of this particular plants and the next one is calophyllum enophyllum this is uh, from the mangrove non core mangrove tree species um this uh, oil obtained from the seeds which is called as tamuno oil which is used against the skin diseases and rheumatism and sometimes it is used as a biodiesel also so that is another important thing this particular plant many people know moringa olifera and all the parts of the moringa olifera or uh, drumstick is used um extensively and it can cure many diseases and if you have a drumstick you no need to uh, use the walk, walking stick that is what it is written in tamil murunga inattam verunga yodu povan so if there is if you are continuously taking drumstick you no need the walking stick that is very very important the next one is clytoria ternata this is another important memory enhancing plant and both the species both the color and another important thing is the color variation is not a variety or anything they are all same species even the pink color uh, flower is the same species there are uh, multi um, gene interaction with, because of that there is a color variation in this particular plant and we need to identify which plant whether it is white variety or uh, a pink variety or blue variety which is used to enhance the memory that is very very important there is a lot of things to, to work on medicinal plants this is uh, ibanthus enispermus which increases which is popularly called as purusha lakshana uh, usually it increases the sperm count of in the males so that is very very important in uh, um, tamil it is called as oridar tamarai only one petal is prominent and it is pink pink in color that is why it is called as oridar one petal uh, lotus okay one of my student worked on this particular uh, uh, group called as philanthus there are uh, about more than four or five patents registered from university of madras pharma vice chancellor uh, registered a uh, patent on this particular plant and there are 14 for 13 14 herbaceous philanthus species we have in our indian region it is called as nilanelli and it is an excellent curative for jaundice till date jaundice is cured because of the philanthus and it is it reduces the intestinal pain and menstrual problems all gastrointestinal problems this philanthus is uh, reducing so there are several uh, different species we have in philanthus many species we are not we are not we are not finding any phytochemical analysis this is uh, cardia dichotoma in uh, indian culture in many of the festivals we will find many of the fruits many of the things one such fruit is this cardia dichotoma uh, we call it as a mukusali palam uh, because of the slimy nature of the uh, seed coat and it cures dyspepsia fever ringworm ulcers and it uh, helps in the prolapse of uterus or vagina so all these things are uh, some of the attributions for this particular plant the next one is morinda pubescens this is called as manjanati and it is pure proved that uh, anti accident and anti cancer plant the next one is centella asiatica this is a memory increasing uh, plant uh, this is called as uh, manjugaparni in uh, ayurvedic system it is having a rejuvenating properties similarly bacopa monerii and in ayurvedic treatment it is used for epilepsy malarial fever and asthma and other all uh, diseases the asparagus resimosus which is called as uh, sadavari 
which is highly used in the gastric ulcers, dyspepsia, uterine, uterinic uh, tonic, and galactoc. It improves the breast milk. The next one is mucuna prevarians. In any uh, medicine which is given for the weakness of male, male impotency, you will find this mucuna prevarians. There is a chemical called as levodopa. This levodopa is a precursor to dopamine. Dopamine is an important chemical messenger in uh, which in which was involved in the reward, motivation, memory, all these things. So this uh, levopoda, levodopa is extensively present in this particular plant, Mucuna pruriensis. The next one is emidesmus, which is there are umpteen number of uh, uh, diseases cured by emidesmus indicus, especially the it manages the disorders which is pertaining to the female reproductive system, and it is an excellent coolant of the human body. The root, the extract from the root is very very important. It can be uh, consumed as a juice also. The senna auriculata or cassia auriculata. This is uh, famous. Uh, plant. Uh, it is a shrubby plant. Its identification is very easy in the uh, field. It is having a, a stipule, foliation stipule. The, it improves the complexion in human. That is very, very important. They just take internally as well as they take, they powder it and they apply and they wash their face and the body. It increases the complexion in human. So that is very, very important. And it is a cure, the rheumatism and eye diseases, gonorrhea, diabetes, and especially in the goat also. This is a mimicelan umbilatum. Um, sorry. Um, a keystone species in the tropical dry evergreen forest. And this particular uh, plant which cures gonorrhea, leucorrhea, menorrhagia, diabetes, cough, and so many things. The next one is uh, Rhytia tinctoria. This is again the parasitic worms in, inside the human body can be killed by this particular plant, the Rhytia tinctoria, and it is it removes the waste and toxins from the body, and the uh, the um, latex from the uh, plant it is a very very harmful as such but the secondary metabolites isolated from this particular plant can be cure can cure many diseases and it is also uh, act as an aphrodisiac plant Deutia monosperma again this is a keystone species in the tropical deciduous as well as dry evergreen forest uh, flame of the forest because the flower when it is blooming it the entire forest appear like as of it as if it is in the uh, flame that is why it is called as flame of forest and it cures the inflammation and gonorrhea and other swelling in the uh, body and it also regularize the menstrual cycle because many of the human uh, will not have the regularization of menstrual cycle they will have a ir irregular periods. So that irregular periods can be cured by this mutia monosperma. And when you talk about the mutia monosperma, there is another uh, variety, mutia monosperma variety lutea, which is located only in the northern part of uh, India. There are very less studies uh, about this mutia monosperma variety lutea. So people can take this particular plant to study uh, phytochemically and uh, pharmacognostically what is the ingredient, why there is a variation, all those things. The white is vinifera. I'm not going to talk about uh, much about this uh, particular grapes, but another indigenous uh, plant, which is called as pirandai and in Siddha medicine, it is called asti samkharaga vajra valli. It is called a cissus quadrangularis. But it prevents the destruction of bones. So it increases the, the strength of the bones. That is why it is called as Vajra. Vajra means it increases, it strengthens. Valli means Kodi. Valli means climber. The next one is Ebrus precatorius. 
the white variety is very very important which is uh, the oil obtained from this uh, white variety is claimed to be an aphrodisiac and see juice used in chronic inflammation and of mucous membrane and connecting the eyeball and inner eyelid so that is that can be cured by this particular thing as it's raw if you are taking that is will uh, this one will be harmful to the human body the next one is alpinia calcareta i just uh, rush because it is already 326 is present in this particular uh, plant which inhibits the growth of breast tumor cells in vitro so in vivo studies we have we are waiting for the results from this particular alpinia officinara the nerva lineata the kidney stones can be cured by this particular plant extensively used in the traditional medicine the nerva lineata we have it is already proven but nerva javanica another species we have but um very less studies we have uh, uh, there in that particular plant the nephorbia ita it is called as uh, asthma plant till date there is no because i have seen the registration most many chemistry people also um, registered especially the chemistry of the latex is not known to the scientific world you can take up this particular plant and you can isolate the uh, latex and identify what all the chemicals present in that particular latex because this latex cures the warts and other things if you have a warts or anything if you continuously put this uh, latex it will be cured within 15 20 days that is very very important when you talk about the medicinal plants there are several uh challenges we have in this medicinal plants and majority of the drugs especially the anti tumor screening programs uh identification of number of anti tumor agents we have but the developing into drug level it is very very uh, poor so that is very very important we have uh, so many number of anti tumor plants anti um inflammatory plants but it is not going up to the level of drugs so that is very very important challenge we are facing in now so that there, there is a transdisciplinary studies we need to take we need to undertake to avoid this particular uh, challenge uh let me conclude the presentation uh, by just uh, giving some of the things uh, especially the ayurvedic and sita therapy there are several uh, medicinal plants which cure which are curing uh, chronic diseases better than the western medicinal practices but the scientific validation is very very poor that is very very important so we need to prove scientifically uh, whatever we have with the traditional medicinal practices so there is there is a need of interdisciplinary transdisciplinary studies so we need to identify the bio resources for bio prospecting and other things so with us i just conclude so if you have any questions or comments you can put it in the chat box um again once again i thank uh, the audience because any success is because of the audience thank you one and all Permal, yeah. uh, if you have any questions, you can ask. Uh, there is one question. I would like to know the plants. Sorry. Mm. I would like to know the yes. plants which we used to use day to day for curing nervous related problem. Can you repeat the question? Uh... Normal can you repeat the question yes sir no. mm, wait uh, there are so many messages running so it's, i'm getting trouble to find yeah. it just to give me a minute sir please 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 actually it was like which plant in day to day life we use for nervous diseases nervous diseases yeah See, nervous there are something um 
there are ne- a number of plants uh, nervous related problems new neuro problems yeah. especially if you take central asiatica or uh, avina sativa or cassia tora cassia fistula all these uh, plants okay. can you can you hear me yes sir yes sir yeah so especially the central asiatica cassia fistula all these plants are already proven there is a nervous uh, disorders can be cured okay sir so uh, hello yeah. yeah you can ask please please ask questions no problem mm-hmm. and uh, sir there is one more question from yes. sriti kare sri tuti kare i would like to know plans that we can use to, to improve immunity in this pandemic corona yeah see as i already told you the um, uh, vitamin c rich plants whatever is it, uh, boosting the vitamin c you can take it citrus citrus related plants So boost up your it will boost up your immune system okay so which plant or plant pot mixture of plants can be used to, to increase immunity of children sir your voice is little low sir kindly please little louder yeah can you can you yeah sure sir yes sir yes sir yeah see immunity of um, uh, children you can use Uh, the uh, citrus citrus fruits okay citrus fruits you can you give um, ginger all these uh, plants especially pepper all these things can in- increase the immunity in the children okay sir and uh, there is one more question like uh, in chennai climate which plant can we grow <laughs> most of the plant what i have shown in the presentation is coming from the chennai and around region only yeah is there any side effect of these plants yes see there are see even the aloe vera people are telling we should not take as such because uh, if